Hello everyone, it's Skill here from the Grim Reapers. Today I'll be doing a short follow-up to my first Pimax Crystal initial impressions and hardware review video. As I said in the original video, I would come back with an update once I had a chance to use the crystal for a while, so here I am. All of my thoughts and opinions, <laughs> hopes and dreams are my own and based purely on using the crystal seated for simulation type games in PC VR mode and to be honest I haven't even tried the standalone mode yet as I prefer the simulation type games. Spoiler alert! For the avoidance of any doubt, in my opinion, as someone who has been playing flight sims for over 30 years and simming in VR since the first days of the Oculus Rift CV1, the Pimax Crystal is the best consumer grade VR headset for PC simming. Although I have not used every other headset available, I have many years of experience using numerous headsets, so let me take a few minutes to explain why I think the Pimax Crystal is the best. Before I dive into the reasons for that opinion, I'll say that the Crystal or more accurately, the software behind the crystal has evolved a fair bit since my first video, which has improved existing features and enabled new ones over the last few months, but I'll cover some of those in a bit more detail later. Obviously, the first and foremost reason for the crystal being the best headset is the visual quality. When I first tried the crystal, I was absolutely blown away by the visuals, and I still am. None of the other headsets I've used over the years have even come close to the crystal in its overall visual quality, clarity, sharpness, colours and field of view. The performance of the headset in DCS, Microsoft Flight Simulator and every other sim I've tried has been great. The audio, with the DMAS headphones at least, is great, and at least as good as the audio in the HP Reverb G2. Some of the improvements and additions that I hinted at earlier, and which have come to the Crystal since my first video, are the other main reasons I love it for simming. These have added to the Crystal's versatility, giving you, the user, the ability to set up and use the headset in a way that suits you best. By that, I mean you have options. You have the option to select the headset's refresh rate, allowing you to choose from 120Hz, 90Hz or 72Hz, depending on your preference and requirements. It allows you to use eye tracking, or if you prefer, not to use eye tracking. It allows you to use it in PC VR mode, or unplug it from the PC and use it standalone altogether. So, now that I've bored you all to death talking about all the things that I think are great with the headset, I'll spend a couple of minutes going over what changes I have made to mine, and what I think Pimax could do to improve things for the average PC VR simmer in the future. Although there is no doubt the headset is quite large and heavy, I have always found it to be very comfortable. My only issue was that when I was using the original facial interface, I found that there was a small amount of light leakage at the outer edges of my view. I changed the stock facial foam for a VR cover one I had for my Reverb G2. It fit very well and I had no more light leaking in. The only other alteration I made to add to the comfort was a studio form Apache comfort strap. Again I had used one on my G2 before so I was used to the feel of it and it helps the crystal sit snugly on my bald head. I know the Crystal is a very expensive headset, which puts it out of reach for a lot of prospective users, simmers and gamers alike. I wonder, or more like dream, if Pimax would ever consider making a fully PC VR version of the headset, without the standalone capability, and if they did, if the reduced functionality would result in a lower cost, which could be passed to the buyer. You never know, the lack of the standalone mode might even negate the need for a battery too.
I do know that Pimax plan to continue improving the crystal, as well as adding new features, such as a pass-through function. They sent me a sneak peek of a demonstration video showing how the pass-through will look to the user inside the headset. Although it's not a full-colour, high-res pass-through, the image quality looks more than good enough to get in out your rig, find your keyboard, or grab a drink. As I said at the very start of this video, I think the Pimax Crystal is the best headset currently available on the consumer market right now for flight simming. Well, thank you all for taking the time to watch this video and I'll catch you later.